I know a lot of you are asking what's happening with Project Tumbrel. Hi, Ninja Girl. <laughs> what's happening with Project Tumbrel? That was the Power Wheels Jeep that we spray painted. You know what? It worked out great, as you can see in the video right here. Three, two, one, go! Go! Whoa. 12 to 24 volt conversion worked great, but we were looking for something more of a a dune buggy type feel and we found one well when I say we I say ninja girl she found this this was 20 bucks off Craigslist it was sitting in someone's garden Daddy, just Daddy. rusting away and so she got it for 20 bucks uh, now you take the risk when you buy these you don't know if they're gonna work or not is the engine working or the gear stripped you don't know uh, the guy who we bought it from didn't know anything about it other than his kids stopped using it uh, well so we got it home Plugged in a battery we had and only one of the wheels was turning, which means either one engine's burnt out or the gears are stripped or both. So we took it apart. And the first thing we took apart was starting the front with the shifting mechanism, which you see sitting right here. Upon opening it, uh, we found that, well, first of all, it wasn't shifting properly. It felt stuck. So we opened it up and what you have are these rocker switches inside. See that? Makes a nice clicking sound. And one of the rocker switches was not doing it. So we pulled it out and this is what we found inside. Rusted, broken pieces. The spring was broken. This thing was sitting outside in someone's garden. It was a farm, right? Yeah. Yeah, that had moisture in it. It is done. Thankfully, the other black Jeep has the exact same shifting mechanism. So we are simply taking the shifting mechanism from the original Jeep, putting it in here. We're going to put this back together now with a battery. Uh, if everything's good, then both engines should work and we're good to go. Okay, test drive. Okay, let's do it. Come this way, right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to State of the Squadron number 25. I am Montoya and this is a show where I talk about things happening in and around Star Citizen and the best organization which is, hang on, it's on the tip of my tongue, Test Squadron, that is us. First of all, oh those Power Wheels are so cool, it's becoming quite the hobby. I love When I was a kid, Power Wheels were so expensive, like only the richest of my friends possibly had them. So I'm really enjoying finding these really cheap deals and getting these for my kids. I hope they appreciate it. So welcome to Star Citizen. Welcome to Test Squadron. Let's kick this off. First of all, welcome, welcome, welcome to over 1,000 new members to Test Squadron. There are a lot of great organizations in this game. Some really, really good ones, which I'd love to talk about in another episode, perhaps. But you chose Test Squadron. We do appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Don't forget to go to our forums at testquadron.com and our Discord. Say hello. I'm always online. Drop in there. It's nice to touch base with everyone. We have a couple of things to hit on. Uh, we're going to talk about divisions within Test Squadron. We're going to talk about SizenCon, VerseCon, and an Aurora skin. You will not believe all right, this is our division page. First of all, go to testsquadron.com. On the top, you'll see a button that says groups. Click on groups, and there we go. But before we get there, I have to thank our sponsors. And by thank our sponsors, I mean, well, we don't have any sponsors. But uh, everyone who donates to me through the website and through Patreon, thank you very much. It's been about two months since the last video. I usually scroll the names at the end of the video, but I want to give thanks to you right now because there's just so many names to get through and that's going to take forever. So uh, everyone who goes to the donate link over there, and thanks, uh, thank you very much for your contributions. Uh, they are greatly appreciated. Let me give you all a quick, quick shout out. Bear with me. Sirius7264, Chlip Valley, I butchered that name. Cold Dog, Mitch Angel, Teal Wraith, Hard Dog, Mark Bruce, Hard Dog again, <laughs> Mark San2, Spectre44, Triton Rise, F Tech, Panzer Todd, Felix No, Takarian, Kalignosity, I hope I got that right, Drizzt001, oh, I'm butchering everyone's names, Sneaky Pete, Gab Grave, Mark Tech, Dumbass. I always laugh when I read Dumbass's name. It's a good name to have. Yes, Grumpy Cat, Zerk Z, Standard Dev, uh, Big Types, Garen, that Spanish bastard, Mark Santu, Capital N, where are we? We are in July already here. Yes, 
Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all very, very much. I really appreciate your ongoing support. And it allows me to put my time into doing exactly this. So back into the division story. Here we go. Click on groups. And here we are. By the way, the Patreon backers, I'll mention you at the end of the video. Thank you very much for that too. All right, divisions. Now, the reason I bring this up is that at least once a week, someone approaches me out of the blue and goes, Montoya, we've never spoken before. I just joined your yesterday, but I would like to lead your combat division of 14,000 people. No. Listen, <laughs> everyone, I want to give everyone a shot at leadership. I think it's great that people are stepping up. But I want to see leadership grow organically. So if you and five friends love doing mercenary work and they say, yeah, I really want this guy to lead because he knows his shit, you know what? We'll give you a shot at leading mercenaries. That's how I want leadership to work. At the moment, we have interim leaders in almost every single division, um, Yellow Jackets, Sethius is involved there, Piracy, we have Crystal. Uh, Bounty Hunter's arranging stars. She's a sweetheart, but she'll shoot you in the face for money and so forth. So that is how divisions will be working. These consider this as placeholders because many of these professions do not exist in the game yet. We are not pushing on this too much. We want to have divisions that have activities in the game. So with 3.0 coming very very soon. Uh, we'll start fleshing this out a lot more. By the way, if you are a Russian speaker, drop by the Eastern Bloc right over there. That is our Russian division. We have the best Russians. All right, let's talk CitizenCon and VerseCon. CitizenCon 2017 is taking place in Germany. Unfortunately, I will not be attending. It is a rather expensive couple of days for those of us who would have to travel. But there are a lot of testies going. If you are going, please go to the testsquadron.com forums and go to the CitizenCon 2017 subform right over there. Click on that. There is a roll call thread. Please log in. Drop your name in there so you and other testees can get together. And when you wake up drunk in an alley, missing a kidney, and you need your testees to come get you, we need your name in there. There is also a text thread in our Discord server. By the way, download Discord onto your phone. It's a very lightweight app. It is great. If you have Wi-Fi, you can have Discord and you can communicate with the rest of your testees in the Star Citizen, sorry, in the CitizenCon 2017 text channel we have set up. Now, for those of us that cannot make CitizenCon in Germany because it's expensive, there is another option called VerseCon. I mentioned this briefly in my last video. I got to mention it again right now. Let's go to the page of VerseCon.com. Here it is. Now, you know how there are bar citizens, people get together. These are backers of star citizens, get together at bars and just hang out and have fun. VerseCon is that, but it is big. It is They have a rented hall. This is really fancy. It is happening in Austin, Texas. I strongly suggest go to VerseCon.com. If you can make it to Austin, Texas, at the same time, it's October. Let's see what's the agenda here. One second. October 27th. This is a two-day event. Please go check it out. Uh, these guys have done an amazing job at making it happen. Pyrophoric, Scuba Steve. Huh, looking very sharp there, Scuba Steve. We usually don't see you wearing a tie. Ganny, Roo Smash, Commander Z-Man, Astro Pub, Captain Richard, Grey-Headed Gamer, and Scrapped have put this all together. Good job, gentlemen. And you know what? Let's, let's give a shout-out to the whole volunteer team that really put their time into this and have helped make this happen. Clifford, Tacon, Werewolf, Fastcut. Why is Fastcut everywhere? How do you do that, man? Next, looking sharp with his new haircut, Ideatron, Chief Gully, Mitachi, stop pointing at everything all the time, Sophie Girl, Joran, Toxic Pig, Years 100, Rice Maiden, Jake Capella, and Miss Hearts, always looking lovely. Thank you very much for all the time and effort you've put into making VerseCon happen. If you cannot attend, but you still want to help them, because this has been a big financial burden on the guys running this to rent the hall and get everything running in there, by all means, go to the donate button right there. And uh, any kind of financial assistance you can offer will be great. I would like to see VerseCon actually become a regular thing. Uh, next year, when CitizenCon is taking place in the States, there'll be a European version of VerseCon happening. I think it's a great idea. And uh, with that, let's wrap this up. I know it's been kind of a quick video, but there's a lot of other things to do. If you haven't checked out my other videos, I've started a TMG series. I call it the Metagame. And... Sung has been asking me to do this for a while. He wants me to talk about drama in Star Citizen, but I thought, you know what, there's no game yet, so how much drama can there be? You would not believe how much drama there is in this game at this early stage. It's really wonderful. So check out my other videos, the TMG series. They're really a lot of fun. And, uh, oh, the Aurora skin. Oh, I almost forgot. Check this out. All right. 
This is not photoshopped. This was in the Jump Point magazine. Now, other orgs, don't freak out. This wasn't meant to be a test squadron skin. It was supposed to be a crash test skin, but it's totally within our theme. So thank you very much to the artist and everyone who got that going. Uh, I'm going to buy 14,000 of these and make sure every single Aurora test has one. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much for making this happen. Everyone in test does appreciate it. And with that, let's wrap things up. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to test. Thank you very much for joining. Everyone from my Patreon, your name should be listed on the side. Which side am I pointing at? This side. Your name is listed. Thank you very much for your ongoing support. I think we cracked the 400 level. That is great. Also, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to leave me a nasty comment, drop it below. I do love it. Check out the links there also. And uh, that's about it. That's a wrap. So I'll see you in the next one.